In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for H2S plus NaOH. This is hydrogen sulfide gas plus sodium hydroxide. So when we're doing this net ionic equations, this could be dissolved in water. It could be aqueous, but we're going to go with a gas for this here. So the first thing we need to do with net ionic equations is balance the molecular equation. I have two sodiums here and one here. Let's put a two here. Now I have two oxygens and just one. I'm going to put a two here. That's balanced. And that looks like it does it. This is the balanced molecular equation. Now we need to write the states. We've already said that this H2S is going to be a gas in this equation. If it were aqueous, it really wouldn't change much in our final net ionic equation. We'll talk about that. Sodium compounds are very soluble. Write AQ. We have another sodium compound here. That'll dissolve and dissociate into its ions. Water's a liquid. So those are the states. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions. This will give us the complete ionic equation. So H2S, we don't split gases apart in net ionic equations. If it was aqueous, this would be a weak acid, be a weak electrolyte, and we wouldn't split it apart either. So we have H2S, and I'll write the states at the end, plus sodium group one on the periodic table, one plus the whole hydroxide ion, one minus, good one to remember two sodium ions, and then we have also two hydroxide ions. And these are the reactants in our net ionic equation. For the products, we have sodium's positive, sulfide ion is two minus. So two sodium ions, just like in the reactants, and then the sulfide ion, that S2 minus. And we don't split liquids apart in net ionic equations, so that'll just be two H2O. This is the complete ionic equation. Now we can just cross out those spectator ions. They're on both sides of the complete ionic equation. I see that I have two sodium ions here in the reactants, two sodium ions in the products. We can cross those out, but everything else is unique, and that's the net ionic equation for H2S plus NaOH. I'll clean this up and write the states in, and we'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for hydrogen sulfide gas plus sodium hydroxide. If we had an aqueous solution up here, it would be the same thing. We just have AQ because this is a weak electrolyte. We don't split that apart. You note that charge is balanced. I have two negative charges here, two minus, and then two minus over here. That's balanced. If you count the atoms up, they're balanced as well. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for H2S plus NaOH. Thanks for watching.